Nigel, when the uh, RLX 780 first came out, you, you did and have done since then really well with this machine, haven't you? What, why is it, do you think? Well, it's the capacity. It's a 780 millimetre swing, three metres between centres, and we've also got a 160 millimetre spindle bore. We had it for a long time when we sold it with the Siemens control, which we still do, but since we brought in the Prototrack RLX and put the latest touchscreen technology on there, we've sold a lot more of them. Why does that make a difference, do you think? Just because it's easier to use, easier, there's a lot more cycles in there to... Prototrack's got a great reputation around the whole country now as being a really simple to use CNC control. Yeah, so even if you're a first time user, you can get to grips with it, dead, you know, it's dead simple. Yeah, if you're using a manual machine today and you get trained on this, you'll be using a CNC tomorrow. Um, but people wouldn't buy this unless they had the right work. So what is the right work for a machine like this, really? What? Well, we've sold it to people doing pipe work. We've sold it to people doing um, railway axles, all sorts of things that, that um, but yeah, you're right, they buy it for the capacity. So you've got a two-step gearbox on it uh, as yep. well. So you've got power as well as um, speed. We can see the chuck turning now. Yep. What about you, you, your tool mount here? This is just a four-way tool post. Is there any options on that? That's standard, but you can buy an automatic, an automatic tool post. Um, it's a one-piece bed and base casting. It's not bolted, the bed's not bolted to the base. It's a one-piece casting. In the headstock, we've got Japanese dynamically balanced gears. So it's a really, really super quality machine. And if you wanted to put a, a chuck on the on the back end of the spindle bore as well, you can do that as that's, well. That's but, optional. And, and why would you do that though? What would you? And mainly if you want to grab a long shaft. So if you want to grab a piece of pipe and you want to put the, the chuck on the front and the rear or a long bar. Yeah. That's the only reason. Um, so the spindle bore goes right the way through. What, what, what about managing applications on here as well? Like for example, using this tail stock, I mean, it's yep. got to be operator friendly. So how do you how do you counteract well, the, the two weight size? Well, there's two ways to use there's two ways to use the tailstock. It's a, a big heavy tailstock, so you can we've got an air assist on it, so you can put the air on and push it, or you can drag it with the with the carriage. Okay, I, I notice here as well the doors moving backwards and forwards with the axes travel. Uh, it's full of health and safety compliant, I'm sure, isn't it? I mean, you wouldn't bring a machine in that, that, that wasn't, but I like, the, I like the fact that there's plenty of light and room around. Yeah, yeah, we, it's, it's totally CE compliant. Once the machine goes over two metres in bed length, you can have the shorter guard. On all the other machines, you need a fully enclosed guard. OK, um, last one from me, getting the swarf out of something like this. I know we've got a couple of trays yep. underneath it. Is that the only option or is there uh, alternatives? Um, no, you can have a swarf conveyor that goes out of the back of the machine. Mm. And you can, of course, operate these machines using the old conventional methods as we've got the handles here and you can teach it and all of those things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, this machine's available from stock. You do bring them in readily from stock. Um, how quickly could somebody expect to have one of these, a machine of this size? We, li in we like machine to tell shop? everybody two or three, uh, two or three weeks um, for, for delivery of any machine. Um, yeah, so we can always do that. If somebody wants one quicker, assuming we've had it on the 168-hour test run, they can have it very quickly. And that's something you do with all your machines, is it? Just to make yep. sure that yep. everything's in, in working order. Um, this one's here available from stock. Um, Nigel, good time to buy at the moment? Well, this machine you can almost buy with the bounce back loan, and uh, C bills tends to be for the higher price machines. But the bounce back loan will almost cover the cost of this, and we've had quite a few people buy it with that. Great stuff. They have it available from stock. RLX 780.